Sometimes extreme measures need to be taken to protect wildlife on the front line. Well, it's a cold and misty morning here in South Dakota and I see the guys are already getting the stuff ready in the helicopter and all of the capture gear, so let's see what the plan is for the day. It all looks good, so yeah, I think we're ready. Okay. Apparently the weather down there is clearing, so hopefully when we get down there we can take the trailer and start catching. Perfect. How's this all paid for you? It's getting cold. <laughs> yeah. Uh, some of the money uh, for the collars and the capture is paid for by the Wild Sheep Foundation. The tribe has donated uh, a hunt and we donated the ram skull that we found in the Badlands. And they auctioned that off and matched the funds and they put that forward to the collars and the capture. And then we've cooperated with the South Dakota Game Fish and Parks and they've put in some money too to pay for the other half of it basically. Let's hope we get a window in this weather because certainly in this weather we're not going to be catching too many sheep. Not like this, no. Can we get the trucks out of the way? Because we want to launch a helicopter here. It's got to get a bit more level. Cool, but we're going to give it a crack and see. I mean, the weather looks like it's cleared and... In frigid conditions, the sheep are first located then net gun and airlifted to the capture team. Well, here we go. We've got a few sheep on the ground. Now we're gonna go and see what it takes to process these things. What I'm doing now is I'm going to take some swabs out of this sheep's nose and out of his throat. And we're going to take a swab out of each nostril. This is a young ram. And now we're going to put a collar on this guy. I have to take my glove off, it's freezing cold here. Go. Come on. And there goes one of them. Now we're finishing the collar on this one. You know, these sheep we're catching for several reasons. One is to have collars on them so that they can be tracked and monitored what their habitat use is. But secondly, and very importantly, they're getting a bunch of health checks where we're doing nasal swabs, throat swabs, and blood sampling, not only to follow their DNA, but to see if they have any pneumonia pathogen. And then we're going to release him back into the wild where his collar is going to teach us a lot about him and help us do better conservation. Off you go, my boy. There we go. Look at that. You realize just what goes into sheep conservation. Capturing these things, the toughness of the people on the front line, the dedication of the Sioux tribe and the parks initiative that's behind all of this. And every bit of this is underwritten by Hunter's Dollars. And with Hunter's involvement, we're going to have more sheep on the mountain and our children's children are going to get to enjoy these amazing wilderness areas with huge amounts of wildlife.